Hi everybody, this is Santiago, Hotel India 8, Sierra Mike X-Ray and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and want to watch nice how-to videos and live streams of my DX operations, do not forget to subscribe using the button uh, below. In this opportunity I will be showing you a quick video uh, to the main configurations in order to have log forum, WSJTX and grid tracker working together. As you know, uh, Log Forum is uh, developed by Daniel in the Whiskey Tree Hotel, Mike Hotel. It is a very complete logger with a lot of uh, capabilities. It's free and it's now running version number two, which was a huge makeover from version number one. WJTX by Joe Taylor, Kilo One JT needs no introduction because it is a software used widely by hams uh, worldwide for modes like uh, FT8, FT4, JT65 and JT9 and whether some like it or not these modes are very very used by a lot of hams. On the other hand Grid Tracker developed by uh, TAG November Zero Tango Tango Lima. It's a companion of uh, WSJTX. Uh, some may say that substitutes JT Alert as notifications of work before or needed uh, DXCC or needed stations, grids, etc. But it actually goes way beyond that and he has a lot of uh, more of, uh, to offer. Let me know in the comments if you want to see uh, some of the features of Grid Tracker on display, and I make sure I'll make sure that uh, I do a video sometime showing you Grid Tracker. So now let's uh, take a look at the settings for uh, the three softwares, beginning with uh, Log for One. What we need to do first with Log for One is go into Settings. In the settings menu, we choose a program configuration. It will be opening the box that you see right here. Let me put it that in here. And uh, what we got, we go to connections. And what we're going to do in this particular menu is set up the UDP connections, the UDP uh, ports that the three programs are going to use to talk to each other. That will uh, give you the opportunity to uh, exchange information between the three software. As you can see already mine are configured. You, you, ha you have uh, port 2237 dedicated to WSJTX with uh, the mode of JT messages. What this will do is send uh, QSO data from WJS JTX to log for on. Also, we'll be adding uh, port uh, 2236 uh, from Grid Tracker. You can name it uh, whatever you want. Just put a name that will remind you what it is for. And then uh, this this port in particular will be sending the QSO information to be logged by log from on. And lastly we're gonna create a port 2238 which will be used for grid tracker call as I name it that will uh, allow to exchange information from the, the signals that the grid tracker decodes through WSJTX. The creation of the port is very easy you just have to put the number of the port here the name you want to give to the connection and, and uh, what type of uh, service. Addif message is, use, is used when you're going to be sending QSO information for logging. JT message will be used when you want to send uh, decode information uh, for any other reason. Once you have those three uh, ports set up here, you have to uh, click save and apply 
I'm gonna hit exit because it didn't change anything but you you hit uh, save and apply and that's it for uh, the log forum configuration now I'm gonna pass to another uh, screen where we're gonna see what we need to do in the other two programs WSJTX and uh, grid tracker uh, for WSJTX I usually use two slices two different instances of the program to take advantage of my flex three, uh, 6300 uh, if you use also more than one instance you just have to make sure that you duplicate or replicate the same configuration in both instances as well uh, in this case we go to file settings and we look for the reporting in reporting we're gonna do the, f the following you just uh, select the server that the computer where your uh, computer is uh, using at the moment make sure you, s you select 2333 as the server port number that's uh, 2333 check all these three options and in the secondary UDP server you choose the same uh, IP address of the computer and put the number 2237 that's easy that's the only thing you have to do in uh, WSJTX remember you are 2333 at the first or main UDP server checking the three options and in the secondary server you're gonna choose 2237 uh, remember that was one that uh, we created uh, in log for ROM uh, once you have that you click OK and let's move to the third program which is uh, a grid tracker in, in grid tracker you're gonna look for the settings icon which is this, this two uh, this icon here in here we're gonna first we're gonna go look for the general sub menu in this we're gonna tell uh, the program that we will we'll be listening to in port 2333 which is the one we created in WSJTX that will tell grid tracker where to listen from in this case you, must, you see slice A but uh, if I have one more than one slice it will also be reflected here second we also have to check here uh, the forward UDP messages meaning sending the same information to another uh, computer or another uh, host you're gonna put the other uh, UDP that we created is 2238 that will tell uh, tracker that, uh, that forward any information it gets it will be forwarded to that port and in that case will be received by log forum <coughs> once we have that those two uh, already complete we go and look for the login menu in this uh, you will see all the loggers and online login services that uh, grid tracker could send the QSOs uh, for the matter of this video I will only be talking about log forum but if you want to see any other connections specifically to one of those services let me know in the comment section and I will make a video or something about that here we select again the same the IP address of the computer that is using log forum and we put the port that we selected uh, in log forum which was 2236 actually that's all you're gonna have to do in uh, grid tracker that way grid tracker will send the QSO to log forum for login and here it will send the Q 
QSO data. We'll be receiving it from uh, WSJTX in this port. We'll do whatever it has to do on Grid Tracker and we'll also forward it to that uh, port, which will be in turn received by log forum for the purposes of the log forum, log forum as well. So, as you can see, let me see if I can show you uh, quite a bit. Uh, whatever signals that the WSJTX decodes, it will be sent to the Calibre roster in Grid Tracker, which is this window here. Will be also displayed on the map here, but also will be uh, sent if I'm in the middle of a QSO. It will be sent to log forum as well. Let me see if I can uh, make a Q a, a Q uh, QSO a quick one, just uh, to show you how the information is passed uh, from one to the other. Here and as you can see, the sig here in this you see that my signal is going to the station I'm calling. If we move quickly to to the other monitor, you will see that the QSO information was already passed to log forum is here. In this window here, you see all the information of the station I'm calling, including the map. You'll see the lines here, means I'm calling that station. Moving to the main screen, well, I'm not getting any answer from that station. But let me see just one last time. But here you can see how it's working, the three uh, programs exchanging information. If you look here, it says I'm in the red, it means I'm calling that station, as well as the line here. So basically that's all the there is to know about how to configure the three programs to work together. I must uh, thank the developers of the programs and the members of the reflectors of the programs because uh, at first I had some issues getting the three of them to talk to each other but after a few consultation and a, a a lot of assistance from the groups, those three groups, everything is working fine right now. And that is why I'm making this video, so I maybe will uh, be useful for you as well. So now, remember to subscribe to get notifications of any new videos that I will be posting soon. So n until next time, Hotel India 8, Sierra Mike X-Ray, and thank you for watching 73s.